this is the first FPV flight that I will be doing. Hopefully one of many. I definitely hope one of many. Make sure everything's good and tight. Don't want to lose anything mid flight. level. Alright, let's see if it flies with the camera on board. The cameras on board. Shoot, this field's been planted. Okay, well, I've got enough parking lot over here that I can come in and land it on. So long as traffic's not here. There we go. Let's see what this guy does. Ready or not, here you go.
not enough lift for that. Well, it was worth a try, but this plane just does not have the lift for this much stuff to be attached to it. So, we'll go for just a regular flight. Howdy! Just looking to see what you're flying there. Well, I was trying out a new camera system that allows me to see what the plane sees. Yeah? And it works great. The plane's just too small to fly it, though. Is that right? So, my bigger planes at home will have to do that. But, this thing, uh, with just this camera will fly beautifully. I just wanted to see if it would actually fly with this one attached. And, I mean, it will, but it's way, way too much it's a weight. More wind up when you get up too. Yeah, yeah, it is a little windier. Normally, the plane really doesn't have any problem with wind, but I added that much more weight. So, let me re-tape up the wing real quick, and then I'll just throw this thing back up again. Minus all the extra about a pound. I just got to make sure I pull the battery. I'll clean it up later. Normally I fly down in Kentucky where I live, but this field looked inviting until I saw it got planted, so this parking lot's going to have to make do for landing. Club here somewhere. Yep, I've I've heard, and I'm a member of a club down there. It's just I came up here for uh, early thanks or early Thanksgiving, yeah, uh, early Easter dinner tonight, and thought I'd give it a whirl. Plus, I'm driving the whole way here. I saw a bunch of big hawks flying around, so. Yeah, I've uh, I've flown nitro, and I didn't like the uh, possible explosions, so I got into electrics, and for the price of what a motor was, I can get 12 batteries for these, and that'll keep me in the air just as long as a gas would, so. Plus gas, you have to reinforce a lot and different stuff with foam. Do you do just like little indoor or do you do some like gliders and stuff or? I got some of mine up to, I think the biggest one I got is 48. 48? Okay. I've got a, a 48 inch wing at home that I'm building out of blue foam. Same that you use for siding uh, or in between siding. And uh, I mean, I absolutely love it. I got into it four years ago. and. Uh, it's been fun. This thing has been two years now, and it flies. I guess I made it two years old. <laughs> I don't care. I can't tell you what I got into it. But I got into it. Um, I guess the first planes I had was you control. Mm -hmm. you know what those are? Yeah, the line line control. Yeah. Yeah. Except for the old Reed <laughs> radios, they were, you know, proportional, you know, and all that. Oh, yeah. Wasn't doing much. So, uh, I got into free flight, and then from free flight, then I went to Glow and with the radios. Yep. And now I've switched out and I'm into electric, got all electric. I'm, right now, I'm building uh, a phone delta. 
Yep. Mine, I've designed it. It will fly 85, but I wanted more lift for the MPV stuff. Um, so it, if if given about the right, it'll probably do 85 if I throw a four cell in it. But I'll probably have a three cell. Uh, and it it's got enough lifting capacity, at least in the simulator, that it'll do a five cell, 5,000 milliamps. So I'll run the motor and everything right off of one battery. This one's small. Yeah. It's a small gun. Yeah. And, uh, it's, uh, I, I think it's, as old as I am, I think it's going to be too fast for me. Well, I mean, it's only as fast. I've seen this plane fly. It's, it's only as fast as when you turn the motor. Well, I understand. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I've, I've seen this fly. Yeah. I've seen it fly indoors. Yep. Uh, at a golf uh, complex. Mm hmm. Yep. And it, it slows way down. Yeah. But also, it'll scream when you. To, I, I saw him, but I'm standing beside him, and I said, Well, what is the speed? And he said, Well, I can't give you the speed here. But he said, I can show you a little bit. And he brought it in real slow, and all of a sudden he went whoop, right straight up. Yep. Went clear to the top. Over, so. <laughs> <laughs> yep, those wings will do it, but. Let me see. Oh, good. We've got some, looks like some lift. Clouds are getting whisked around. You this one, no. I bought this one. Um, I I do make uh, a couple of planes, but they're not anywhere nice as this. Mine look like they came from you know some science experiment gone wrong. Usually. Uh, I've seen it when we pulled in, and mm -hmm. they fascinate me. I haven't ever had one. But... This one's this one's a great one for somebody first starting. Though find a local club because you still need to have some help on how to fly them, but. This one was my third plane, and I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So. I'm in RTC. I'm from Rith Aberdeen, Ripley, Ohio. Oh yeah. And yep. My RTC teacher was a um, was a pilot for 30 years in the Marine Corps. Oh cool. And they do. They have the little like one seat airplane thing. Right. They interest me. This one, I, I thought about upgrading the... <laughs> it flies just fine. Plus, I got this little camera to uh, catch video of it, so... I'm going to angle it off. I'm going to go ahead and throw it up over here, because we got a hawk overhead.
normally don't like flying parking lots, but but I normally don't fly like flying parking lots, but yikes. You can just see that. <laughs> it's like Dan.